Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Beautifully Nerding. I will say you have to bear with me because while I am feeling a little bit better, as you can tell, my throat still hurts so bad. Every word I'm saying sounds like knives are just like scratching at my throat. But I did want to at least make this video because what I wanted to do was watch the original 1985 version of the color purple so that I could have that to compare it to the new color purple that's coming out Monday but in the like little bit that I do know about the movie and then also like the small amount of research that I've done and getting ready for it I was just realizing that there's just a lot of trauma with the color purple and with it being a holiday season like I really just don't want to deal with that so instead I started watching what if so this week we're getting two animated series in one like honestly I love that for me it's giving way more holiday and I just feel like you know holidays about being happy and the color purple at least the OG was not gonna make me happy so we're going to watch what if instead so if you are looking for this to be like one of those breakdown videos where we go through shot by shot detail by detail point out the easter eggs you've come to the wrong page okay that's your screen rant that's your screen crush that's your heavy spoilers i'm not those people that's not what i do i just watch for the fun and the vibes so hopefully that's what you're here for because that's what i'm here for As I'm recording this, there are two episodes out. So I'm recording this on Saturday because I'm going to go see family. So the first episode was what if Nebula joined the Nova Corps? And the second episode is what if Peter Quill attacked Earth? And I will say that already the first season versus the second season, I feel like the second season is way more thinking outside of the box as far as what are some ideas that we could give these characters? So there's still characters that we know, you know, people from different franchises and different movie groupings coming along and coming together. It must be real bad if they had the balls to call us in. Foster! Great. Now I know it's a disaster. Always a pleasure, Hank. What's the matter? Didn't want to spring for a sitter. You know damn well I don't have anyone to leave her with, thanks to this place. Let's save the fighting for the battlefield, shall we? Wow, who's the guy in the armor? King T'Chaka of the African Kingdom of Wakanda. It's not the same like, oh, what if Peggy Carter was Captain America and it's literally just the entirety of the first Captain America movie, but Peggy Carter is the main character. Like, we've already seen how that movie plays out. Give us something completely different. And I feel like Marvel is definitely doing that with season two because both of these episodes have definitely been more of a here's the snowball effect and how it changed everything following so the first episode what if nebula joined the nova Corps? pretty much sees the purple dude with the hammer actually betrayed thanos and thanos lost and so like nebula was like drifting in space um then she was rescued by the nova Corps, and so she signs up to be you know a galactic officer and then ronan decides that he wants to attack that planet so they put this giant shield up and then the lady who's the head of the nova Corps ends up making a deal with ronin to like overtake everything also major spoilers my bad major spoilers if you all have not watched it because i know some people like to just wait until things come out fully and watch them as a whole i've never been that kind of girly like if there's something i want to watch and you give me a little bit i'm going to watch at as soon as i possibly can so the main character the main like nova core lady strikes a deal with ronin to uh plot an attack but they have to use nebula to get into place where the source code for the shield is hidden to be able to open the shield for ronin to attack Smooth freak would know what this is oh that's an old citywide mainframe core it's a unit b42 i believe I didn't think there were many of those left. How the hell would you know that? Oh, I know all sorts of things. And then, you know, chaos ensues with like her being tricked and double cross, but then it's a triple cross and Nebula figures it out. And it's a really good story. I enjoyed it. And so even with that first episode, I was like, okay, we're doing things differently because it wasn't like a, oh, what if Guardians 2 happened like this instead? Like it was completely something they were just like, 
let's just go in this direction and i really enjoyed that but we also had like korg was there howard the duck was there freaking nebula does the thing with the arrow like there's a lot of familiarity fam family familiarity there's a lot of things to make you feel like home in the guardians universe but enough nudists to be like this is a different story that i'm not used to um so that's episode one and then episode two so essentially how like a guardians uh i just processed that both of these first two episodes were guardians related i didn't even okay so how in guardians one where peter quill gets picked up by the ravagers and how yondu decides to keep peter because he knows what ego was doing to the other kids yondu instead turns peter into his dad and then tells him like his whole plan all this stuff because he finally realizes like okay like peter is actually pretty powerful i can use him and then peter goes back to earth and seemingly is going on this rampage but come to find out it's actually i guess like ego was working through him peter just wanted to get home because he missed his mama like his mama just died and he got snatched up like he didn't even really have time to process that his mom was dead then he found out that he is actually the love child of a planet it like it was just a whole lot um for an eight-year-old to deal with um and so essentially the like 80s 90s avengers uh have to come together to try to stop peter and of course bucky is there and you know peggy carter has the whole he looks just like him well you know the bucket we know is gone so he sent the winter soldier the world's most deadly assassin he looks just like him howard like bucky but of course like he's not gone like he's still bucky barnes deep down inside and essentially hope is able to help them see the humanity in peter hank pym essentially adopts him the thing that confused me though was so hank pym was ant-man and he got small but then there was another dude who was able to get big i'm assuming that it's probably a character i don't know because i thought that hank pym with the pym particles i thought he was the one who got big and small and so I was, well, there were two different people because it was a black dude who got big and i was like who are you and obviously I wore the Wakanda shirt because King T'Chaka was in there. And I was just like, I mean, I'm here for it, but okay. It was just a whole lot of like, let's just pull from all of our different franchises all over Marvel. Let's just pull from all the movies. And I was just like, I mean, I'm here for it, but, and they started talking about T'Chaka's daddy. And I was like, we don't even know about T'Chaka's daddy yet. Like we, we going way too far into stuff. I don't know nothing about, but it was a fun ride so there are a total of i want to say eight or nine episodes coming out and they're dropping daily um every day at 3 a.m i happen to not be asleep yet so i was able to watch episode two last night before i went to sleep you know if you're not up at 3 a.m if you're not one of the people who's making the like youtube video breakdowns about it just watch it when you wake up there's no reason to stay up till 3 a.m to watch this it's just so that when you do wake up it's fully there and has processed and all that good stuff this will be my christmas media that i take in happy animation must to me uh because i've had enough of black people suffering i'm still mad about the american society of magical negroes and i'm even more mad at myself that i didn't realize that the trope was right there in the name and i just looked over it because magic and then also I'm definitely gonna go see the new color purple one because i'm not paying for it but two because taraji has been going through it and i need to get some more information about what exactly is happening to her because at the end of be all we stay with miss henson okay because she's been working hard for years and has yet to get the flowers that she deserves so yes go watch what if but also go watch the color purple to, to support miss henson but also the people who like are in the rooms like doing things and making the moves give miss henson the endless roles that she deserves well that's all i got i am way behind on getting on the road uh so i hope y'all have a great day holiday season whatever it is that you celebrate and uh yeah i'll talk to y'all next year bye